Welcome to a short episode of Robo CNC. Um, for those of you following me on the social media channels like Facebook, um, may have seen that I've been working on some parts for a new CNC router. Um, for this, I needed uh, to face off some aluminum and I really needed a fly cutter. I've seen a lot of cool YouTube videos of guys uh, uh, using the fly cutters uh, so I really needed the fly cutter and I did with some great results as you can see here with this one but I got some questions on Facebook and I thought well let's try to make a video of it first this was the part I was facing off with the fly cutter and this is the fly cutter itself I will try to provide some links uh, down below in the description box uh, to this one or similar one. I found this on eBay, uh, but well, the eBay links uh, come and go, so I will try to uh, find an Amazon link or something uh, like that, and I will provide it in the description below. This is a, a fly cutter uh, which has a, a Morse taper, an MT2, I think, yeah. MT2 Morse taper. And I have an, uh, a small lathe uh, tool in there with a carbide insert. Well, this is an SCLCL, so a left hand cutter because it rotates to the right, and this way the cutter tip touches the material. So One of the parts I did earlier is uh, part of the Z-axis for the new machine. Before I had the fly cutter, I wanted to get a, a, a nice even result, uh, a nice even finish on the material. So I tried sandblasting. But if you look closely, sandblasting, well, it's, it's just not great. Sandblasting is great to see as, as long as you do not touch it afterwards because you will get all this smudges, stuff like that. So I thought, well, thickness of this plate is not that critical uh, for the Z-axis. It's just uh, the back plate. So let's try to uh, take the fly cutter and make this shine. So let's go over to the mill. So we found out where the top of the material is. I zeroed the z-axis. So the speed of the cutter rotations is 2000 a minute, 2000 rotations a minute. I'm gonna uh, set a depth of C of 0.2 millimeters. I just want to finish. Uh, I'm not trying to get the dimensions exact or something. So I just want the smooth finish. Going for a 0.2 millimeter depth of cut and 100 millimeter feed rate, which is not that fast, but I want to try to get a great result on the finish.
So as you have seen, I need another pass. It's not uh, as flat as I expected it to be. So let me do another pass and I will get back to you. So I did uh, a second pass on this side and the finish is already well, quite nice. It could be even smoother uh, on the other parts. I have. Uh, even somewhat better result but well hey I can see my fingers uh, shine on this so I will call it okay for now so um, I did uh, did not have enough travel on uh, my uh, y-axis um, so I turned the part over zero did again um, turn it around so now I'm gonna do this side I will uh, do this off camera and uh, get back to you when it's ready well guys I finished one side of this uh, piece with the fly cutter uh, machining is done on this side not on this side I will bring you up somewhat closer with this camera so look at that I guess this is not going to be how the machine is going to look it's going to be like this hope you guys liked it uh, you will see this piece uh, in a further uh, in videos further along the way uh, when i start working on the new cnc router hope you guys liked it if so click the like button share subscribe whatever thank you